Yeah, because there's a lot of things going around that you used to be able to openly say and you can't say anymore and things that you shouldn't say are being said. I have a question. This is from Ashley. She wants to know what your favorite Bob's Burger character is. <laughs> try calling him on the actual phone and putting the phone up to the microphone and see if that works better. You want to try that? Yeah, let's try that. All right. Uh, let's see here. I'll go into the phone book. Because of the fact that no one can hear him at all. And uh, Ashley wanted to hear your answer so bad. And, <laughs> and she cannot hear you. So we're going to try it this way. All right, so I'm calling you right now. So we're going to hang up with Skype. Okay. All right, put it on speaker. I will go see if we can hear you better. You're going to want to turn that up all the way. Oh, man, i got to turn it up all the way? Yes, all the way. All right, it's up all the way. And put it... The it's, well, that sounds dirty. It, I got it there. Go, woman. <laughs> Leave. Get lost. Gee, I love you, too. Yeah, I know you do. All right, Mark. <laughs> so if you want to answer that question again. Okay, my favorite Bob's Burgers character. This would be actually Bob. He's got the patience of a saint. Um, he's a total filth, and he just, you know, takes everything with a big smile on his face, and then more than occasional, oh, my God. <laughs> so I love me some Bob. Did you guys hear that, hopefully? I, I'm thinking that, yeah, we're good now. Yep. Pretty sad oh, when we have to works. hold up the phone over Skype. Well, the sad that's thing really is... That's really kind of, that's kind of like, it's kind of ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stupid Skype. The sad thing is, I know where the microphone is on the laptop, and my wife did not. I thought that was just the uh, camera. The microphone. I don't even know where the microphone is on laptops. I mean, who actually needs to know that, though? 
<laughs> I'm like, I just know that there's a microphone. <laughs> so maybe what we're going to have to do is buy an actual microphone and then somehow just figure out we'll have to like just put the phone on speaker and make sure the phone is next to the microphone. Why don't you give me a hair clip so I can clip this thing to the freaking computer? I can get you uh... That's a good idea. That way I don't have to hold the phone here. You just have to make sure that your phone is charged. It is. Okay. God. How's that? Yeah, we'll see. I don't know if I have a hair clip. Uh, just like a wild trick, you never killed anybody. Uh, that, that no, nah, it's too small. I don't have a hair clip. <laughs> Shush, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> you sick bastard. I know. How about I just do this, lean it down. There we go. I'm just so glad there's no camera here. You guys don't have to watch me and vibe as soon as I go home from work. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, give me my medicine. My medicine's wild tricky. Yep, my medicine. I love my medicine. <clears throat> All right, so we know in the future that we will buy a microphone and we will just somehow have the phone against the microphone, and that works Apparently better than Skype. It does. Let's have a GoFundMe for some equipment. <laughs> yeah, start a GoFundMe page. <laughs> yeah. We need a soundboard and uh, a microphone and. And for Skype. Actually, to... that's not that's not that's not a bad idea. Just you know. I like GoFundMe pages. Something. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, my no, cat's no. trying to steal my wild turkey. There, I got it out of her reach. Can't take it now. Ugh, not a cat. Oh, just put a dog around. She's, <laughs> she's not alcohol. She's just curious about what it is. You know, she's seen it like millions of times. Not, God, I'm going to sound like a lush. I mean, she's seen it often enough. <laughs> now she's seen it millions of times. Not well, medicine. You can either Come give here, it to her, and she won't like it, or you give it to her, and she'll drink all of it. Oh, uh, no. No, no, no. She's not having it. <laughs> oh, I, I, you know what I heard? She, like, looked at it, she made his face like, yeah, that's gross, and she ran away. <laughs> All right, so, um, what was that? Uh, uh, what? Hey, uh, what? <laughs> you, she heard you talking to your cat. No, oh. I, I thought I heard of another voice. That was Mark talking to his cat. Oh, okay. Oh, no, we do need an EVP session right now. I know, we need to. And we need to figure out how we can get the demon out of Skype. There is no getting the demon out of Skype. Skype is the demon. Uh, I think Skype's a demon is a like, collection of all the crap that people talk into it every day. <laughs> 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 all, the, all the bad first blind dates gone wrong on Skype. <laughs> All right, well, now you need to recover what you were talking to him about before because of the fact that it was totally missed. All right. Again, it's his new okay. collaboration, the, the Angry Parrot Panda. Yes. With the, the hood. Yep. With Good Rats. Yes, Good, Good Rats. Rats is a, yep, it's a barbershop slash social club. It's not like a stripper social club in that sense it's a sense of the real meaning where you know it's a barbershop culture guys get their hair cut you have there with your um you know your scene to officials you all have drinks and uh talk with each other just catch up uh, a group of friends that don't get to see each other often enough usually um every second sunday uh second friday sorry about that we all get together and that happens so um, being like-minded, we just noticed that there's a lot of, um, you know, a lot of conversations, a lot of things being said that you can overhear that would never been <laughs> said out loud before, again, because of certain people coming into certain positions of power, using slogan, make, you know, whatever great again, when it's great to begin with, uh... And so I decided to make my slogan for this campaign, Make Racists Afraid Again. Because there was a time when, you know, you wouldn't think about saying that. I think it's just common sense. It's like, 
somebody's colored, you don't use that or different pigmentation in yourself. You don't use that derogatory term to them out loud. You talk about that <laughs> that particular race or sets uh, existence in derogatory terms or as a you know negative things like oh so many people of so and so country or so and so descent are coming to the country now and they expect this and that. It's like no, you you keep. You keep stuff like that in your head. You don't say it out loud. But now you just hear it. Even you know, you got to dinner. You hear people talking about it just openly, and um, it's not okay. It's it's not okay. And you know, rather than be the kind of people that just over here just shake their heads like, "Oh, we should know," but it's like, and she say, um, "Excuse me, sir. Might I have a word?" <laughs> Do you know what you just said? <laughs> Um, a lot of times they're either taken aback and don't realize they've, what they're doing and, you know, apologize and like, you don't need to apologize to me. I'm not the, said you're insulting, <laughs> but, um, it's the other, tr- the other hand, a lot of people will get belligerent and defensive. It's my right to say what I want and blah, 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 blah. It's like, yes, it is. So, so my right to kick your ass if I don't like what I hear. Um. Uh, it's, it's like I was mentioning before, it's just gotten to a point that's unprecedented uh, in all of history to be hearing, you know, vitriol and hate speech, incendiary speech, whatnot, just bandied about like a normal conversation. And I think it's time that that's been moving against it. So like Logan says, make, make racists afraid again, make them think twice for opening their mouths and letting that ugliness come out. Uh, and good rats is of uh, tall friends of mine, the proprietor Phil, he's Mr. Phil, he's wonderful, and like me, he takes action to his word, not just, you know, type or become one of those keyboard warriors about it, which, wonderful, you're doing something, but in real world, you just sort of look down and not say anything to the person doing it, way to go. <laughs> um, and I actually saw people, excuse me, <laughs> uh, no, that's that's not okay. So that's what the whole make racists afraid again movement is about. It's not really to intimidate them. It's just more like, you know, just, hey, look, this is what you're doing. Uh, For example, I was um, in Greenwich working at Warby Parker, and I had a Miyazaki t-shirt on from a movie he did called Spirited Away, which a lot of people know and love, and it's a great movie. Um, He had the kanji for the title on the top. And just having this person normal conversation, he goes, Hey, what's that writing on your shirt say? Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not Japanese, first of all, I'm from <laughs> Filipino American descent. And I told him, I, I I don't really know. I'm assuming it's spirited away, like it says right underneath it. <laughs> and he goes, Oh, he's like, You can't read your writing? I'm like, I, I, that, My writing? I, I, don't, I was. I was kind of a, taken aback that he actually said, read your writing. <laughs> I'm going, um, I, no, I, I can't read kanji, that's Japanese, and I'm, and he cut me off, and he goes, well, what kind of Asian are you? <laughs> 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 and that's, and I was the kind of like, the kind of like, gets really pissed really quickly at questions like these, and I don't like where this is going. <laughs> and it just sort of turned ugly from there, and then he just, you know, just Actually, finally, finally, the light bulb, dim as it was, came on over his head. A Christmas light light bulb came off over his head before it sizzled out again. And he let it go, but I was like, oh my God, that was a turning point. That moment right there was when I was going, okay, all right, this whole this whole social, political climate is not okay. <laughs> and, you know, that's what put the initial thought of making a movement like this into my head. And it's just sort of... Um, been working its way through the machinations, collaborations with Phil, meetings, talking, what to do, how to do it, where no one gets, well, hurt unless they really have to, but, you know, just make people aware of what they're saying and why it's not okay. Well, and I, 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 think, I think it's a good cause. I think there's a, a, a little bit of a fine line in there, though, because I know... There definitely is. There um, definitely is. Because I, I joke around with people like that that I know. And they, and they,